only shades I don't use is Forever Lit, Kitty Cat, Kitty Cat, and Daydreamer. But the other three I do use. So I think I'm going to keep this for a little bit longer and see if I get some more love out of it. If not, I'm going to pass it along. All right, so my Jazzy Girls Cosmetics. This is the, I think it's the blush and highlighter palette. You guys, I don't really use this often, but I am on their PR list or I was on their PR list. I do like these shades on the bottom. These top shades really don't work for me, but these three on the bottom, I do actually like. So I think my plans is to put this in my makeup kit for my clients to see if i could get some use out of it if not then i'm just gonna pass it along all right something else that is about that time my bh cosmetics contour highlighter and blush forever nude sculpt and glow you guys i burnt this out for years like i burnt this out for a good amount of time and even though i love it so much and i know bh cosmetics don't sell it no more I am going to go ahead and pass this along and see if anybody else will want it. But you guys, this was a good buy. All right, I'm also going to get rid of my Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin in Coconut. Um, love it. I do believe I have a backup of this. So I am going to give this to my sister and see if she likes it. It's, the, it's supposed to be transforming. Little, 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 little. It's supposed to be a skin transforming powder and it's better. It's the super stay, super stay better skin. I really like this back in the day. And like I said, I do have a backup of this. So I'm going to give this one to my sister and see if I use the backup. If not, I'm going to give that one to her too. All right. So here's that other Wet n Wild Catwalk Pink. I told you guys I'm going to put this one in my client kit. I was using this um, at one time when I was doing Pretty for Prom. I did a whole bunch of clients for prom and this was the only highlighter that I had seen to keep pulling out for all skin tones that I was doing that day. So I'm going to put this back into my kit. All right, my Revlon Nearly Naked in Medium Deep. You guys, I loved this stuff I think I want to project pan it because it is you know already hidden pan but I can't remember if this was a good shade or not for me it seems to not be but I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test it out I'm gonna put it in the project pan uh, pile and I'm gonna test it out if it's really not my shade I'm gonna go ahead and toss it but if it is my shade, I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. All right, my Kat Von D Highlight and Contour Palette. I'm going to finally give this to my sister and see if she likes it. I had her and abused her for some time. And I really just don't reach for her no more. So we're going to see if my sister likes it. The LA Colors Face Palette is the blush kit. You guys, once again, I did buy this for myself, but because I don't reach for these like that often with it being in my makeup kit, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my makeup kit for my clients and see if I use it. If I don't, then I will be doing, you know, a random declutter throughout my makeup kit and get rid of some stuff then. Now, the last drawer is really brushes, you guys, and... I really don't want to just walk through every single brush, but I am going to go through and pick out some brushes to see what I would like to keep. I got big brushes here and then our brushes back here. I'm going to go through them and then I'm going to like basically show you guys what I'm going to give away, what I'm going to give to my sister and that type of ordeal because I have way too many brushes, way too many brushes. So. These are going into the giveaway. This one is going to my sister.
Okay, so all these brushes are going to go to my sister. Yes, I'm going to clean every last one of my brushes before I actually pass them along. But these are all going in my sister's basket. All these brushes are going to the trash. You guys, I just have so many brushes. This looks better right now than what it was looking, but I do have another drawer of blushes, um, brushes over here. But that is it, you guys, for this portion of the declutter. All right, you guys, we're back. We have another drawer to go through. Let's move you down. This is like an overflow drawer of products, loose powders, pressed powders, and stuff like that, highlighters, and a little bit of a little bit of everything. This is really overflow, so let's jump in it. Stop it. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna go ahead and apologize if y'all hear my neighbors or any kids or anything outside. It is the weekend and I am trying to get this stuff done. So if at any part that this needs to be a voiceover or anything, it will be just that. But we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so let's jump in. We do have the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. It's the Sculpt and Boost in the shade Medium. You guys know I did use this for travel when we went to i think vegas or louisiana or something like that one of those um trips we went on and i actually really did like it so i'm gonna keep it my cutie pie banana setting powder i'm gonna give away you guys i just didn't love it i think it's a little too peachy for me so i am gonna drop that in the giveaway sorry i had to bring y'all in um, my Kat Von D Rich Deep Press Powder in 255. You guys, I bought this from Sephora and I tried to make it work. I thought it was my shade, but it is too dark. So I do believe, oh, how do you open it? I do believe I am gonna go ahead and posh mark it because it is really dark and it's even a little too rich, uh, uh, too rich in color for a contour. I tried it as a contour. As well so I'm just gonna go ahead and posh mark that my Maybelline Superstay in truffle you guys I am gonna give it to my sister and see if she likes the shade on her but it is a little too deep for me which I feel like it'll be a little too deep for her and if it is she could go ahead and do whatever she wants with it now my cover FX <clears throat> perfect and setting powder and translucent deep I am gonna give this to my sister for our all-over face powder but I will be keeping the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep for myself for our all over face powder. She looks like that. You guys know how this stuff looks. Cover FX, I'm gonna pass along. My Revolution, I mean my Revlon Candid Photo Setting Powder in 01. I am gonna keep this for a pro product update video but I am gonna most likely get rid of it after that. I'm gonna pass it along to one of my coworkers, but I need to keep it for right now for that product update video. All right, so my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat, this one is in the shade Deep Golden. You guys, I am gonna pass this along and see if anybody else wants to use it because I don't use it as often. It's a little bit too light, so I'm gonna pass it along. I do have my Benign Banana Powder in Banana, as well as my J.Cat Beauty Luxe in Chestnut. I'm gonna keep both of these. I am, however, gonna pass on the Hard Candy Bake Bright and Set Loose Finishing Powder in Banana. I think it's in Banana. <laughs> I think it's in Banana, but I am gonna go ahead and pass this along. My Black Radiance Press Powder in Ebony. I am gonna keep this. You guys know I am in love with Black Radiance products, so she stays. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff up. You guys, this drawer was not a full drawer. It was just a overflow drawer. 
I'm gonna keep my coated ear spun in the translucent extra coverage. You guys know this is like an old favorite. This one is a little peachy on me, so I think I am gonna go back and get another one, but I love Cody Earspun, so it has to stay. My two Black Radiance Soft Finishing Powders. This one is in Creamy Bronze, and this one is in Creamy Bronze as well. We're gonna put these in the backup drawer because I do have a Creamy Bronze that is a project pan, so we are gonna put these in backups. So my Beauty Institute You Glow Girl Highlighter palette looks like this. You guys, I am gonna pass this along to my sister. Even though I like this highlighter, I am gonna pass it along to her because I feel like she needs highlighters in her life, so we're gonna pass that along to her. And then the Milani Intense Bronze Glow in 01. We're gonna keep, I'm still loving on her and I'm gonna continue to use her. Here are the rest of my Revolution um, highlighters. This one is in Marzipan Heart. I am gonna pass that along. You guys, I told y'all, even though the collector in me wants to keep these, I know for a fact this is not gonna work for my skin tone, so I am gonna pass that one along. I am going to keep Apple Cinnamon Heart. She works well for my skin tone, but the Candy Cane Heart, I am gonna get rid of. Y'all, this is gonna be hard because kids are outside playing and stuff. But now we're gonna move into single eyeshadow palettes and we're either gonna keep, give away, keep, give away, or give to my sister. That's just how this is gonna go and I'm trying to be cutthroat when it comes down to these because I barely use them. So for one, I know I'm gonna give the Roses from CoverGirl True Naked palette to my sister. This is very soft and light and I know she should be able to use it. The Blink BoxyCharm Electric Eye Palette, let's look at it. I'm gonna give it to my sister, see if she likes it. These are all creamy shimmers, they're pigmented one swipe and literally they're gold. Like, I love this palette, but I don't reach for it that often. I'm also gonna give measurable difference to my sister as well. Simple eyeshadow colors that I know she should be able to use. This e.l.f. Prism palette, this one is in Sunset. I'm gonna give this away to one of my coworkers since I gave the other shimmers to my sister but this one is gonna go to my sister. All right, we're doing good. The undressed five color nude eyeshadows, all of them are shimmers. They are very, they're very, you know, lightweight. They're not the best, but somebody could get some type of use out of it. This is from Taste of Tropics. I don't know where I got this from, but I'm gonna pass it along. Ooh, my sleek makeup candy collection. We're gonna pass it along. We're gonna give this away. We're doing good so far, you guys. This Elf Flawless eyeshadow, I'm gonna give away as well. I wonder if my sister would like this. This one is in Golden Goddess. I think I'm gonna see if my sister wants it. Simple eyeshadow looks will work great for her since she's just getting into makeup. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pass on my Maybelline, my Maybelline Eye Studio in copper. I am finally gonna get rid of some of my wet and wild, you guys. Whoo, this is gonna be a hard one. Something to rave about is gonna go the Maybelline Sandstorm Shimmers is gonna go. My L'Oreal, I'm finally gonna throw this away, you guys. Y'all know I held on to this for years just because this was the first palette I ever really used, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw it away. All right, let's go through these. Wet and wild ones, you guys. This is gonna break my heart. Getting sunburnt is gonna go. Don't Steal My Thunder is gonna go. It's never been opened. Walking on Eggshells is gonna go. Yeah. Okay, 
silent treatment is going to go as well as spoiled bread. Spoiled bread, silent treatment, walking on eggshells, and don't steal my thunder have never been opened, but I'm getting sunburnt has been opened. But we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these. I can't believe it, but I just don't use them. Y'all, I'm so sorry about the kids in the background outside. I'm going to try to mute that out as much as I can. Sorry. All right, my two essence all about news and all about sunrise. I'm going to get rid of both of them. I don't even use them like talking about. Great for the price not the best eyeshadows but they are great for the price but i am gonna go ahead and get rid of them all right here's when it gets a little bit harder wet and wild collection again i'm his breezy is gonna go the naked truth is gonna stay melrose face is gonna stay i believe i never even opened it melrose place is gonna go Floral values is gonna go. And then Art in the Streets is gonna go. All right, my Black Radiance on point. I'm gonna give to my sister. I know this is gonna be something simple and easy she could use. So I am gonna give that to her. My Maybelline's Luminous Lilacs is gonna go. My LA Colors Matte, both of these is gonna stay because I actually do like these. My Kiss Collection Golden Bronze, I had this for too long, so I am gonna finally throw it away. My Wet n Wild Fergie Collection, this one is in my Dive Skies, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. All right, my LA Colors, I'm literally only going to keep one. No, I'm not gonna keep none of them. I'm gonna give these two to my sister and I'm gonna see if any of my coworkers want these two. That's just how we're gonna do it. This is getting scary. I'm actually getting rid of my stuff. Like seriously getting rid of my stuff. Who am I right now? Hempari Solutions by Wet n Wild Limited Edition is gonna go as well as Broadway Boozin' Limited Edition from Wet n Wild is gonna go. I've opened both of them. I've used both of them. They're not the best, but they are pretty good to say that they're drugstore. So, yeah, we're gonna let both of them go. This is scary. Both of them are basically the same type of color, so I could keep one. I, could, I can, I could do that. I am gonna go ahead and let go this one. This is the Clean Colors 12 Eyeshadow Shimmer Palette. Had it forever. Gonna throw it away. All right, here we go. Comfort Zone is not going nowhere. Petal Pusher, I can give away, as well as Island Blues from Black Radiance, I can give away. Both of these are gonna go to my sister. My All Natural by Wet n Wild. This one is in Nude Awakening. I am gonna give it to my sister. My Maybelline Nudes, I'm gonna give to my sister. Y'all, can y'all believe this? And then my Be Bright by Maybelline. I'm going to give it away to one of my co-workers. Wow, can y'all believe that I did that so freaking fast? I'm going to move up a drawer and just leave these. Like, can y'all believe that? I've only kept four, five eyeshadow palettes throughout all that. Oh, my God. We're gonna try to zoom past this next one down here. It's really an overflow of eyeshadow palettes too and a few loose powders that we're gonna try to get through too. And we're gonna try to give away a lot too. The Villains Disney eyeshadow palette we are gonna just give away. I think my coworker will give this to her daughter to play with. So we're gonna get rid of that one. My Mariah Carey, what is this? Oh, you know what? This is the four eyeshadow palette from MAC, the collection. I am going to give this to my sister. 
she is going to die over. And if she doesn't want it, then you guys, I'm literally gonna put this on Poshmark because I've only swatched this. I've never used this on the eyes. And they are pretty colors, but I never used it because it is Mariah Care Collection, but she should love it and she should enjoy this a whole lot. My Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder, we're gonna pass this along. I'm gonna see if my sister likes that. I didn't enjoy it, but we'll see. The LA Colors, all three of these. These were the last three that I had. I'm gonna finally give these to my coworkers and see if they want it. My ABN New York 24 Hour Flawless Gel Eyeshadow and Illuminator, I'm not getting rid of. I absolutely love this. So she stays. Woo, y'all. Some more Wet n Wild. This one is New to Awakening. This one is Not a Basic Peach. And this one is Rose in the Air. All right, so New to Awakening. All right, so I gave Nude Awakening to my sister in this form, and they do have it in this form. Let me compare real quick. Yeah, so I was wrong. So they both fairly look exactly, oops, sorry, you guys. They both fairly look exactly the same, like that is the exact same colors. So I will keep this one and continue to give this one to my sister. I did not know that I had two of the exact same palettes, but that goes to show you how much I am a Wet n Wild collector. Um, not a basic peach, y'all. I think I have to keep because this one is just, oh, is my favorite. I love the orangey tones. Look at that. I, I think I have to keep this one. Now, roses in the air. Let's see. Oh, so pretty. Creamy. Let me see this transition shade. Oh, okay. I got to keep this one too. Have to keep that one. So the Milani's I am going to go ahead and finally get rid of. This Milani is the Vital Bright. I'm going to give this to my coworkers, see if they want it. Pretty. Um, this one is the must have naturals. I'm gonna give this to my sister because it is natural colors. And then this one is everyday earthy elements. I'm gonna give this one to my sister as well because these are simple neutrals that I know she should fall in love with and be able to make a simple eye look and look gorgeous. My Maybelline blush nudes. I did give my sister the rosy one from CoverGirl. So I think the blush news can go to one of my coworkers. All right, my Wet n Wild, this one is in Quartz Center. I am gonna pass this along to one of my coworkers. I still love these, but I just don't reach for them like that. This one is coming into latte, coming in latte. I'm gonna give to my sister because once again, simple neutrals. So these two palettes I am gonna put in the giveaway basket too because I don't use them like talking about both of these Asante eyeshadow palettes. Um, they're very good, but I just don't reach for them no more like talking about. This one here is just a empty palette and I don't know why I still have it because I haven't figured out anything to put in it. So I don't even know what to do with this. I really just want to throw it away because it ain't doing nothing. It's just pretty. Like, it's pretty, but I don't have nothing to literally put in it. So I'm going to keep my Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions. Y'all know I love this. I played with this for a long time. So we are going to keep that. Oh, I need to lay down. Y'all can't believe it, can't believe it. The Deeper deeper the Berry by Black Radiance, I am gonna give, give to my sister. I use this a whole lot and used it many times. It's very good to say the drugstore. Now this is the other comfort zone. I have both of them. So I am gonna give one to my sister and I'm gonna keep the other one because 
I've opened both of them. And yeah, gonna give one to my sister and I'm gonna keep one. All right, the Party Animal by Laura Lee. I'm just gonna give away. Didn't like it. Sugar Peel, gonna give away. This Sugar Peel, gonna give away. Wow, you guys. Look at this. This is all I kept. That is really crazy, you guys. Ooh, so now I have two empty drawers. And the next drawers would be lipsticks. So hopefully you guys are staying tuned. Hopefully y'all are enjoying these declutters as I'm breaking it down. We're gonna come back and do swatches of all the lipsticks. I have two drawers of lipsticks. I am also gonna go through this stuff. I was gonna do like a product update of these bags from Sephora Play, but I stopped getting them because I just wasn't really enjoying them. And then I have another thing of lipsticks that I have to go through. And yeah, hopefully you guys are still rocking with your girl because this is a long ass process. You know I killed that little portion. Let me know down below in the comments that I killed that portion. And I will see you guys in the next one.